Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about magnetism and matter. Okay, so here we are going to learn about the magnetism first. So, what is meant by a uh, magnetism means? Yes, we are going to study about the magnet okay and its magnetic properties also so what are the basic concepts which you know about the magnet yes magnet means it will be attracting the other magnetic materials isn't it if we are keeping some magnetic material near to it it will attract okay and if we are keeping a magnet will be having a north pole and a south pole Magnet will be having two poles, north and south pole. See, as a single pole, it won't exist, isn't it? If we are taking a small magnet also, it will be having these two poles, north pole and south pole. If I am dividing this magnet into two means, if I am dividing it into two, again that part will become a north and south pole okay so that means it won't be existing as a single pole always it will exist as two poles that that's why a famous saying is there it's a, a magnetic monopoles won't exist magnetic monopoles won't exist won't be there okay it will be existing as a dipole two poles will be there Okay, if we are dividing the magnet into two, it will be existing as again north and south pole only. Okay, and if we are taking a magnet and it will be hanging it in one place, then it will always be in the north-south direction. So this will be north seek pole, north seeking pole, and this will be south seeking pole. Okay, so earth, earth has some magnetic power, magnetism is there for earth and it will be uh, it's either because of this, that magnetic effect or bar magnet will be always in a north-south direction. Okay, so these are the some of the basic uh, ideas which we already know about our magnet, isn't it? So, now we are going to consider what are the properties of magnetic field lines okay magnetic field lines what is meant by a magnetic field line say if i am considering a magnet it will be having some magnetic power isn't it magnetic power will be there for that magnet so that magnetic power we will say it is strength of magnet okay see that means if i am here this is a magnet if I am taking some magnetic material this much distance away from the magnet, it won't attract. It doesn't have any attraction or repulsion, nothing. Okay. So after then I am keeping it more closer. Then also no effect. Then I am taking that one and keeping it next to that. Then a slight uh, changes will be there or slight attractive power it is showing that means this is the distance where the magnet will be having that's uh, the magnetic power is existing till this region isn't it so this distance is called a magnetic field strength so it is the strength of the magnet that is we, that one we are calling it as the strength of magnet so how we can determine the strength of this magnet so if i am keeping a compass needle near to it we can show, we can uh, the needle will be pointing in particular direction so i am taking the po i am marking that point i am taking the compass needle again over here and then marking the other end of the needle like that if i am drawing all the dot, putting the dots over here that needle will come back to this south pole so we can draw these lines continuous line this is called a magnetic field lines okay so from magnetic field lines will be moving from north to south outside the magnet outside the magnet it will be from north to south pole and south to north inside the magnet inside the magnet it will be from south to north 
okay so it will be closed loop it will be a closed curve it and another property is it won't intersect it won't intersect so many magnetic lines will be there from north to south pole many magnetic lines will be there but they won't intersect each other if they are intersecting what is the meaning of that it is having more than one direction that is the meaning if it is intersecting each other okay and the magnetic field line see if i am drawing a tangent to a particular point see i am drawing a tangent here so that direction of the tangent represents the direction of magnetic field okay so it represents that the tangent of magnetic tangent represents direction of magnetic field okay it is representing the direction of magnetic so tangent of the magnetic field line represent it is a closed curve we told isn't it so the tangent represents the direction of magnetic field and if i am drawing one unit area over there and the number of field lines represents the strength of the magnet so the number of magnetic field lines in unit area represents strength of magnet represents the strength of magnet okay so understood what is my what is my what are the properties of magnetic field lines so they won't intersect each other if they are intersecting each other that means it has more than one direction it is not possible for a single point or two directions are possible no it's not possible so that is the reason it won't intersect each other and it will be moving from north to south pole outside the magnet and south to north pole inside the magnet okay it is represent tangent represents the direction of magnetic field then fourth one number of magnetic field lines in unit area represents the strength of magnet okay next is if it is having a uniform magnetic field if the lines are having it is representing uniform magnetic field how it will be representing uniform magnetic field means it will be representing with the parallel lines with the equal spacing between them spacing between them will be equal and it will be parallel lines that that shows the uh, uniform magnetic field okay it represents the uniform magnetic field they are parallel lines okay so these parallel lines will be representing the uniform magnetic field okay clear so these are some of the properties of magnetic field lines clear next is one comparison between a magnet see this is a magnet how we will draw the magnetic field lines it will be from north to south pole and inside the magnet it will be south to north pole okay like this magnetic field lines will be representing like this isn't it so this is north to south pole for a bar magnet if i am considering a bar magnet it will be like this instead of that if i am considering a solenoid how it will be a solenoid will be closely wound insulated copper wire yes this is a solenoid and its magnetic properties also will be like this north to south pole that also will be representing in the same way north to south pole okay so now if i am considering an electric dipole this is magnetic dipoles right if i am considering the electric dipole how the magnetic field lines with the electric field lines will be electric field lines will be from positive to negative charge positive to negative charge and from positive charge it will move out and the negative charge it will be coming inside so that this will be the direction of electric field lines 
these are represents the magnetic field lines so you understood it will be moving from positive to negative that's all but here it will become a closed loop this is a, just a comparison of bar magnet and solenoid and the uh, electric dipole okay see in all the cases when I, when we draw the magnetic field lines also we consider that the bar magnet and solenoid as equal equivalent isn't it the equivalence it will be uh, it won't be having any difference like that we we were showing it through diagram but now we are going to find out whether bar magnet is can be considered as a uh, see solenoid can be considered as a bar magnet now we are going to do whether a solenoid can be considered as a bar magnet okay so magnetic field we are going to find out the magnetic field of the axial line of a solenoid so whether it is equivalent to a bar magnet okay so here i am considering a solenoid having length 2l See, both are having both the sides are having length L and this is A. A. So length of the solenoid is length of solenoid is 2L. That is from the center of the solenoid it is L distance apart. A is the radius of the circular coil radius of the circular coil is a okay it has n as the number of turns per unit length okay in unit length number of turns is represented as small n here i am considering a small distance dx okay this dx distance I am considering from the center of the solenoid which is at a distance x from it. Okay, so now what will be the magnetic field of the solenoid db? That will be equal to mu 0 i a square n dx divided by r minus x the whole square plus a square the whole power 3 by 2. This is what we got in the last chapter, isn't it? So db is equal to mu 0 i a square n dx divided by r minus x the whole square plus a square the whole power 3 by 2. This one we did it in our last chapter, isn't it? So now here or we can consider see what is i i is the current flowing through the conductor okay i is the current flowing through the solenoid mu 0 i a square n dx divided by 2 into r minus x the whole square plus a square the whole power 3 by 2 now we are going to find out the total magnetic field in the solenoid okay so what will be the total magnetic field in the solenoid how we can find out b equals we can integrate because we have a for a small distance db is the magnetic field minus l to plus l mu 0 i a square n dx divided by 2 into r minus x the whole square plus a square the whole power 3 by 2. Now I am considering R is very much greater than X and R is very much greater than A. Okay, in short, we are going to neglect R minus X and A. Why? Because R is radius as see this R distance, the point which we are considering as what is R here? R is a point that point P, he, here I am considering a point P which is at a distance R from the center. Okay, it is on the point P is on the axis of the solenoid. Okay, so from the center this point P is R. 
okay this distance is r that one i didn't mark right so the, here you will be getting like this so what will be the magnetic field b equals integral minus l to plus l mu zero i a square n n i a square dx divided by 2 into here and all we will neglect all these things r square the whole power 3 by 2 will be r cube 2 r cube okay now while we are solving this one what we will get mu 0 n i a square divided by 2 r cube all these are constants what is integral dx x x minus l to plus l okay so here this is minus l this one we considered as plus l so minus l minus minus l what is that 2L. So, we will be getting it as mu 0 n i a square divided by 2 r cube into 2L we will get. So, I will write it here once more. B equals mu 0 n i a square divided by 2 r cube into 2L. Mu 0 n i a square into 2L divided by 2R cube. Here I am considering, see I am dividing and multiplying with the 4 pi, mu 0 by 4 pi into N into 2L into I into 4 pi I multiplied, right? So pi A square into 4 divided by 2R cube. 4 pi I multiply and I divided also. Now what we are getting mu 0 by 4 pi into n into 2L. What is this n into 2L? n is the total number of turns per unit length. So into un length, total length while we are considering what we will get total number of turns. Pi A square. What is this? Area. Isn't it? So what we are getting here? N into total number of turns into current into area of cross section. What is that? N I A. What is N I A? M. So M into 4 divided by 2 R Q. So we will write it as mu 0 divided by 4 pi into 2m divided by r cube. So what is this? This is the magnetic field. We calculated magnetic field of a solenoid. Are you remembering what was the magnetic field due to a bar magnet at a particular distance r away? It is mu 0 4 pi divided by 2m by r cube. So both are equal. So here we so proved that the magnetic field will be of a solenoid is equal to magnetic field of a bar magnet. So uh, understood how we are doing this one. This formula you should remember from the previous chapter. Mu 0 i a square n dx divided by 2 into r minus 6 the whole square plus a square the whole power 3 by 2. So here we considered what and all are this one. You should know what is I current flowing through the solenoid. A is the radius of the coil. Okay. And N is the number of turns per unit length. Total length of the solenoid is 2L. From the center we consider plus L and minus L. Both the sides. Okay. And we are considering a point P at a distance uh, R from the center of the solenoid in the axial line. So here we are considering in this way and we got the answer as B equals mu 0 by 4 pi into 2m divided by R cube. Okay. So what is m? m is the magnetic moment. This one, that one only n i a. Last chapter that also we learned. Remembering right magnetic moment. Okay. So this is the introductory part of uh, that chapter magnetism and matter and next day, next day we will be starting with our uh, torque on a bar magnet. Okay. So I am winding up for today. I hope all of you understood all those things. If you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.